Kevin Nash wrestled his first matches in the 90s. He debuted in WCW as the Orange Mohawk Steel, one half of the tag team known as the Metal Blasters. From 1990 to 1991, his finishing move was the flying shoulder block. Well, as we say, he's not been able to get up. Track. He's certainly going to be one to be reckoned with. He Too much power. Boom! Two big, huge, strong men. Look at that! Between 1990 and 1993, Nash navigated through a series of intriguing gimmicks. In 1991, Nash was rebranded as Oz, a character based on the Wizard of Oz and managed by the Great Wizard. As Oz, his finishing moves were the spinning crucifix toss known as the Emerald City Twister. What she said yesterday on WCW. Rich is helpless. and the sidewalk slam called the Emerald City Side Slam. And now he picks Johnny Rich up. Black Rich with a small... ...on AM 750 WSB, and right there it is. ...to the mat, setting him up for this. The one-arm... ...Nikita Koloff with one half of one of the great tag teams that we know this. What? Tremendous hey. authority. Nash's Oz character experienced a brief push before plans were scrapped due to contractual issues. He underwent another transformation in January 1992, emerging as Vinny Vegas, Vinny Vegas is portraying a wisecracking pseudo-mobster. As Vinny Vegas, his finishing move was throwing the opponent face first into a turnbuckle and was known as the Snake Eyes. Just about enough here, there it is. Hit. Snake Eyes turn out the lights, the party's over. Vegas driving. It's In 1993, he joined WWF as Diesel, a cocky trucker from Detroit and the bodyguard of Shawn Michaels. It's gonna be some Royal Rumble. As Diesel, his initial finishers were the right-handed knockout hook and the snake eyes. Now if you don't get caught, I don't oh, right there, right on the And he signed to be on that side of the team. I'm looking forward to seeing <gasps> great right hand. But he quickly dropped both for the sheer drop release powerbomb, branded the jackknife powerbomb. Since 1993, Nash kept the jackknife as his finisher until his retirement from wrestling in 2020. Which finishers suit Kevin Nash best? Comment below and let me know which wrestler I should cover next. I hope you enjoyed the video. Help my channel to grow, leave a like and a comment. Use the middle button to subscribe, or watch more of my videos here.